So before I get going today, I need to ask you guys for a favor. Yesterday, I released a video on British spaceflight, including a great deal of interesting information about British innovation, complete reusability on the part of one of the launch providers, and the fierce competition that's taking place between import launch providers, as I describe them, and homegrown British spaceflight companies. And the performance of the video was, to be honest, quite atrocious. I'm very thankful to the folks who actually watched it, but it made me wonder, especially considering that I intend to cover British spaceflight in greater detail, is this something you guys really don't want to see? Or is the YouTube algorithm simply not recommending this video to anybody who's outside of the UK? The way you can show whether or not you're interested in seeing more content like this is to tune in to this video, which is going to be linked at the end of the description. If I see a spike in the viewing numbers, then I will know that it's something about the algorithm. However, if I don't see a spike, then I'll know that I'm going to have a challenge in the future in terms of people's interest with British spaceflight. And once again, you folks decide what you're interested in, and I quite understand and respect that and want to make sure that I put out the type of content that you're going to want to watch. I'm going to keep covering British spaceflight no matter what, but nevertheless, it would be good to know this. So, let's move on. After I released my most recent video about Starliner, I was completely convinced that I was not going to have to release anything about this spacecraft for quite some time until NASA had a chance to thoroughly examine its performance. And if there was nothing really to report, that is to say that the spacecraft really didn't have any other problems besides the ones that we observed, then there wasn't a whole lot to talk about. But that's not the case. NASA took almost most immediate action within days of the completion of this mission in terms of the future of commercial crew. And I must confess, I'm a little surprised that the media hasn't grabbed on to the significance of this particular announcement, which is that NASA intends to sign SpaceX to a five additional post-certification contract under the commercial crew deal, which means that they intend to use Crew Dragon for five more slots than they originally intended, and the reasons for this are thoroughly spelled out in the NASA announcement, and these reasons are not very good news for Starliner and may be excellent news for Dream Chaser. Hello YouTube, I'm the Angry Astronaut, and this is... So after NASA gave all the high fives to Boeing, and Boeing gave themselves a 15 out of possible 10 on the performance of Starliner, NASA actually demonstrated their true opinions about Starliner in a notice of intent that they released just a couple of days ago. Quote, NASA Kennedy Space Center intends to issue a sole source modification to SpaceX under the authority of FAR 6.302-1 to acquire Require five additional post-certification missions under the Commercial Crew Transportation Capabilities contract. Okay, all of that isn't terribly surprising. NASA will probably need more missions for Crew Dragon. It's what comes after this announcement that's so significant. Quote, due to the technical and schedule challenges experienced by Boeing, the number of missions previously awarded to Boeing and SpaceX, NASA projections of when alternative crew transportation systems will be available, and the technical challenges associated with establishing and maintaining a CTS capability for crewed flights to the ISS approximately every six months, it is necessary to award five additional PCMs to SpaceX. In addition, awarding five additional PCMs to SpaceX will ensure redundant and backup capabilities through 2030, which is essential for the following reasons. One, the obligation to provide continuous flight availability for the safe operation of the ISS. Two, the potential for anomalies or accidents. Three, the potential for unforeseen external factors. And four, risks associated with the design of a safe and reliable 
reliable CTS, the anomaly with the Boeing orbital flight test and subsequent technical issues that led to delays of the OFT-2 and subsequent flights demonstrate the importance of having redundant and backup capabilities in order for NASA to meet its mission requirements to maintain crew on board the ISS and meet its obligations under agreements with its international partners to assure continued crew access to the ISS. Now, the timing of this announcement is no accident. It is not a coincidence. It is a demonstration that NASA has a great deal of confidence in the future of Crew Dragon, realizes the Crew Dragon is going to be absolutely essential to provide access to the ISS, and that currently they don't have a good redundancy backup. And in case you think I'm reading too much into this, just do the math. On February 28, 2022, NASA announced that it was giving three additional crew missions to SpaceX, bringing the total to nine. And now with this additional five missions, the total number of missions for Crew Dragon is up to 14, and only four missions have taken place up to this point, which means 10 remain. This would allow Crew Dragon to take care of all of the missions to the ISS through 2028 with no missions from Boeing Starliner. What does this mean? Well, I think it's pretty damn obvious. Starliner is not going to be taking very many missions up to the ISS, if it takes any at all. And in case you're still not convinced, consider the following paragraph. Quote, this notice of intent is not a request for competitive proposals. However, interested organizations may submit their capabilities and qualifications to perform the effort electronically. Such capabilities and qualifications will be evaluated rather solely for the purpose of determining whether or not to conduct this acquisition on a competitive basis. A determination by the government not to compete this acquisition on a full and open competition basis based on responses to this notice is solely within the discretion of the government. Here's the easiest translation to that. NASA is putting out a request to Sierra Space to submit their capabilities and qualifications to perform to provide, rather, a redundancy commercial crew vehicle. And even without NASA funding, Sierra Space made it clear to me that they intend to have a crew-rated, or human-rated, rather, Dream Chaser by 2026. And that's without any NASA help. It's obvious to me that NASA is looking to Sierra Space now to provide that redundancy because they have lost confidence in Starliner. I'm not saying that Starliner is completely out of the race, but given this recent announcement and given the obvious equation that we're looking at right now, that is Crew Dragon being able to take care of all of the missions to the ISS through 2028 and a human rated Dream Chaser being available in 2026. Once again, do the math. If we have Sierra Space taking care of one of every two missions from 2026 through 2030 and Crew Dragon taking care of one of every two missions from 2026 to 2030, the whole equation balances. The current number number of missions ordered by NASA through Crew Dragon and through SpaceX balanced with Sierra Space from 2026 will take care of all commercial crew missions to the ISS through 2030. I don't think these numbers are a coincidence. I think that they are a strong indication of what's to come and it isn't looking good for Boeing. It is my personal hope and once again I've said this many times and I'll say it again that Boeing Starliner stays alive because we need an alternative to Crew Dragon earlier than 2026. However, if Starliner is not equal to the task, then it's very good to know that we have a solid alternative that's going to be coming available in just a few years. Smash that like, hit that subscribe, and check out the description if you want to support my channel and what I'm doing in the future. And as always, stay angry about space.